Here, happy Monday to you. We're going to open up tonight with the season that's winding down in high school baseball. The Fruit of Wildcats, they were a perfect 7-0 in the Southwestern League play this season, wrapping up their seventh straight league title a while ago today. Looking to go a perfect 8-0 against the Grand Junction Tigers. Let's get you out to Canyon View Park right now. Andrew Lee, he's already graduated, still doing his thing on the bump for the Wildcats. Gets the game's first out via punch out. That said, he was having a hard time hitting that strike zone consistently. Walks it better with one on, now two on, but gets right back in there. Strikes out Ben Coleman to end the inning. Drop strike three, adds a little confusion, but he gets out of it unscathed. That's the point. Jay Satterfield, he gets the first two batters to fly out, uh, and then he goes ahead and ends the inning with a strikeout of his own. A nice opening stanza for Satterfield. Top of the second we go Satterfield at the dish now on a full count shoots one deep to left over Peyton Nestler's head that's going to be a double Lee gets back in there and he punches out the Tigers uh, next two batters it looks like he might get out of trouble again uh, but there was a walk mixed in there and how about the looper here from Caden Manchester Satterfield he's going to come in to score the Tigers they strike first in the second one nothing going into the bottom of the second more good work from Satterfield here getting the strike out but hang on now Dylan Noah, he's going to earn the Wildcats' first hit, a deep shot out to right. That's a loud first hit, a triple. Did I mention Satterfield was pitching well? Gets another punch out, two down, one in scoring position. When Keenan Oxford, he's going to line one down the first base line. It looked like the Cats were going to get their first run of the game, but the home plate umpire says it went foul. A really loud strike is all it is. Oxford gets back into the box and Centerfield sits him down to end the threat. But the Cats, they would threaten again here in the bottom of the third. The leadoff hitter gets on base with a base knock from Lucas Weaver. Weaver on the run by the time Parker Noah smacks one to second. The hit and run eliminates the double play ball and that's important because the next batter Peyton Nestler comes up and gets one to drop in right center. Weaver who is prepared to tag. Now he's scoring. Now we have a tie ball game. 1-1 one, one after three. Let's get you to the scoreboard. 6-2 uh, Wildcats is your final fruta perfect in league play for the second time since 2018 congrats to them uh, the palisade bulldogs and montrose indians they wrapped up their regular season over at palisade as well you might remember on friday the bulldogs finished league play perfect as well 15 to 4 bulldogs is your final and oh by the way Ryder mancuso he pitched his 100th strikeout of the season in that contest awesome stuff you know what